Today, I'm going to show you how to build a jam jar jet. You're going to need RC nitro gas. You can get that at basically any hobby shop. You're going to need a jam jar that you can get just at the grocery store, basically almost anywhere. You need a 5 8 inch drill bit and a drill. And a 1 to 5 8 inch copper coupling. You can get that at hardware stores. Or just anywhere. You need four pieces of 3 inch wire. You need a knife. And an empty peanut butter jar. What you're going to need to do first is cut about a 1 inch by 1 inch hole in the top of the peanut butter jar. I'll speed this up so you guys don't have to watch all of it. The next thing that you're going to have to do is drill a 5 8 hole in the top of the jam jar. I found out that 5 8 works best, but you can use mostly anything just around that size. Right, it took a while, so I'll skip it. And the hole is drilled. Came out pretty rough, but it'll work. Then you're going to want to drill four 1 8 inch holes in the small part of the coupling and put your wire through. You can just bend it over, fold and twist to attach it there. Like what I'm doing in the video. Then after that's done, you're going to center it in the middle of the jar, or wherever you drilled your hole, but probably in the middle. And you want to keep it anywhere from right up to the top to a quarter inch away from the top. And this may take a while. It's kind of tedious. Once you think you have it centered, put the lid on and see if it's right. It should be straight and the hole should be lined up with the hole in the jar lid. Mine isn't, so I'm going to adjust it right now. Now we're going to put the jet together. Okay, you can put 
13 to 15 tablespoons of nitro f or teaspoons of nitro fuel into the jam jar. You usually don't use it all the glass breaks before, but I think it works best. Next, put the coupling on the jar and put the lid on. Again, you want it very straight and lined up with the hole and close to the top. Once it's all straight and you have nitro in the jar, you can fill the peanut butter jar with water it should be cool water because its purpose is to keep the glass cool. If you don't put it in a jar like this, it'll break quite fast. It usually only lasts three to five seconds if you don't put it in a jar with, filled with water. And make sure the water is filled all the way to the top. Then put the lid on the peanut butter jar and try not to get any water in the jar filled with nitro. And make sure the hole is showing through the lid of the peanut butter jar. Once that's all done, you can go shoot it. When you're firing, you're going to swirl the nitro around and then blow in it softly and then you just place a match over the hole. And that is the Jam Jar Pulse Jet.